Hi guys, Miss Liz here for story time. I'm so excited because earlier last week I read The Cat in the Hat to you and tonight I'm gonna read The Cat in the Hat Comes Back. I love this story. This was a favorite when I was a little girl. So I can't wait to read this to you. All right, are you guys ready? Good, I'm ready too. The Cat in the Hat Comes Back by Dr. Seuss. This was no time for play. This was no time for fun. This was no time for games. There was work to be done. All that deep, deep, deep snow, all that snow had to go when our mother went down to the town for the day, she said, somebody has to clean all this away. Somebody, somebody has to, you see. Then she picked out two somebodies, Sally and me. Look at all that snow. I'm glad that we don't have snow right now. Oh, skipped a page. Well, there we were, we were working like that. Then who should come up but the cat in the hat? Oh, oh, Sally said, don't you talk to that cat. That cat is a bad one, that cat in the hat. He plays lots of bad tricks. Don't you let him come near. You know what he did the last time he was here. Play tricks, laughed the cat. Oh my, my, no, no, no. I just want to go in to get out of the snow. Keep your mind on your work. You just stay there, you two. I will go in the house and find something to do. Then the cat went right in. He was up to no good. So I ran in after as fast as I could. Do you know where I found him? You know where he was? He was eating a cake in the tub. Yes, he was. The hot water was on and the cold water too. And I said to the cat, what a bad thing to do. But I like to eat cake in a tub, laughed the cat. You should try it sometime, laughed the cat as he sat. And then I got mad. This was no time for fun. I said, cat, you get out. There is work to be done. I have no time for tricks. I must go back and dig. I can't have you in here eating cake like a pig. You get out of this house. We don't want you about. Then I shut off the water and I let it run out. The water ran out and then I saw the ring a ring in the tub and oh boy what a thing a big long pink cat ring it looked like pink ink and i said will this ever come off i don't think have no fear of that ring laughed the cat in the hat why i can take cat rings off tubs just like that do you know how he did it with mother's white dress? Now the tub was all clean, but her dress was a mess. <gasps> then Sally looked in. Sally saw the dress too. And Sally and I did not know what to do. We should work in the snow, but that dress, what a spot. It may never come off, Sally said. It may not. But the cat laughed, ho, ho, I can make the spot go. The way I take spots off a dress is just so. See here, left the cat, it is not hard at all. One thing that takes spots off a dress is a wall. Then we saw the cat wipe the spot off the dress. Now the dress was all clean, but the wall, what a mess. Oh my goodness, you guys. <sighs> Oh, wall spots, he laughed. Let me tell you some news. To take spots off of a wall, all I need is two shoes. Whose shoes did he use? I looked and I saw whose. And I said to the cat, this is very bad news. Now the spot is all over Tad, Dad's $10 shoes. 
But your dad will not know about that, said the cat. He will never find out, laughed the cat in the hat. His $10 shoes will have no spots at all. I will rub them right off on this rug in the hall. But now we have rug spots, I yelled. What a day. Rug spots, what's next? Can you take them away? Don't ask me, he laughed. Why, you know that I can. And he picked up the rug and away the cat ran. I can clean up these rug spots before you count three. No spots are too hard for a hat cat like me. He ran into dad's bedroom and then the cat said, it is good that your dad has the right kind of bed. Then he shook the rug, crack. Now the bed had the spot and all I could say was, now what cat, now what? But the cat just st stood still. He just looked at the bed. This is not the right kind of a bed, the cat said. To take spots off this bed will be hard, said the cat. I can't do it alone, said the cat in the hat. It is good I have someone to help me, he said, right here in my hat on the top of my head. It is good that I have him here with me today. He helps me a lot. This is little cat A. Then little cat A took the hat off his head. It is good that I have someone to help me, he said. This is little cat B and I keep him about. And when I need help, then I let him come out. Then B said, I think we need a little cat C. That spot is too much for the A cat and me. But now have no fear, we will clean it away. The three of us, little cats, B, C, and A. Come on, take it away, yelled little cat A. I will hit that old spot with this broom, do you see? It comes off the old bed. It goes on to the TV. Then little cat B cleaned up the TV. He cleaned it up with milk, put the spot in a pan, then C blew it out off the house with a, f sorry, blew it out of the house with a fan. <gasps> oh no. But look where it went, I said, look where it blew. You blew this mess out of the house, that is true. But now you made snow spots. You can't let them stay. Let us think about that now, said C, B, and A. With some help, we can do it, said little cat C. Then pop on his head, we saw little cat D. Then pop, 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 little cats E, F, and G. We will clean up that snow if it takes us all day. If it takes us all night, we will clean it away, said little cats, G-F-E-D-C-B-A. They ran out of the house then, and we ran out too. And the big cat laughed. Now you uh, will see something new. My cats are all clever. My cats are good shots. My cats have good guns. They will kill those kill all those spots. But this did not look very clever to me. Kill snow spots with pop guns, that just could not be. All this does is make more spots, we yelled at the cat. Your cats are no good, put them back in your hat. Take your little cats G, F, E, D, C, B, A, put them back in your hat and you take them away. Oh no, said the cat. All they need is more help. Help is all that they need. So keep still and don't yelp. Then little cat G took that hat off his head. I have little cat H here to help us, he said. Little cats H, I, J, K, L, and M. But our work is so hard, we must have more than them. We need little cat N, we need O, we need P. We need little cats Q, R, S, T, U, and V. 
Come on, kill those spots, kill the mess, yelled the cats. Then they jumped at the snow with long rakes and red bats. They put it in pails and they made high pink hills, pink snowmen, pink snowballs, and little pink pills. Oh, the things they did, and they did them so hard, it was one big spot now all over the yard. The big cat stood there, and he said, this is good. This is what they should do, and I knew that they would. With a little more help, the work will be done. They need one more cat, and you know just the one. Look close on my hand. I have little cat V on his head are cats, W, X, Y, and Z. Z is too small to see, so don't try. You cannot. But Z is the cat who will clean up that spot. Now here's the Z you can't see, said the cat. And I bet you can't guess what he has in his hat. He has something called Voom. Voom is so hard to get. You never saw anything like it, I bet. Why, Voom cleans up anything, clean as can be. Then he yelled, take your hat off now, little cat Z. Take the Voom off your head and make it clean up the snow. Hurry, you little cat. One, two, three, go. Voom. Then the voom went voom, and oh boy, what a voom. Now don't ask me what voom is. I will never know, but boy, let me tell you, it does clean up snow. So you see, laughed the cat, now your snow is all white, now your work is all done, now your house is all right. And you know where my little cats are, said the cat. That voom blew my little cats back in my hat. And so if you ever have spots now and then, I'll be very happy to come here again. With little cats A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, and O, P, and Q, R, S, T, and cat U, and cat V, and little cats W, X, Y, and Z. The end. Thank you guys so much for reading The Cat in the Hat Comes Back with me. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for another story. Bye.